Now, like I said, there's other people that have been out here exploring or hunting at night and have seen what they say were skunk apes. Am I in danger right here? Is that why you were making me feel sick to my stomach? He's behind me? Yep. yep. Um, and like I've told you guys in all the videos along the Whistlacoochee River, there was hundreds of people that either mysteriously died in this river. Myself. We're going to be going to a brand new location by the name of Three Bull Run. Has a pretty messed up history and some credible skunk ape sightings. So we're going to go and check it out during the day. And then I'll be back tonight to investigate. As always, I'll leave it up to you to make up your mind what you think. My name is Jay. Welcome back to the journey. So as we're walking back here, I'll tell you a little bit about the history that I've been told which is that there was a native village here along the river that got raided um, back in the 1830s, 1840s, somewhere in that time period. And whatever happened there was so bad that that area was said to be cursed. Now, someone who didn't believe in curses decided to set up a homestead in that location, and they also um built a bridge that went across it was a wooden bridge at the time but uh, you could take horse carriages and stuff across and uh, a freak accident happened and i was I think it's like four or five people that died in that accident along with a couple of horses but it was just sort of a freak accident and nobody can really explain what happened but after that happened they never rebuilt the bridge and that homestead just went away now, like I said, there's other people that have been out here exploring or hunting at night and have seen what they say were skunk apes. Um, this is in a very close area to where I've been exploring and hearing what sounds like tree knocks and stuff. Now, I don't think Bigfoot did this, but this is kind of crazy looking how this pine tree... Uh, it, it caught on fire at the base, I guess. Maybe a lightning strike hit it, and then it fell over right into this other dead tree. That's crazy. And you can see where it's, it was on fire even when it went out here. Oh, look. There's animal bones out here. Could be deer, could be hogs, there's another one. I wonder if an animal was standing next to it and got, like what I'm assuming happened is the lightning hit the top of it because pine trees are notorious for being lightning rods and then came through and then when it hit the bottom it just blew out. I mean, if you look it's like, it completely separated from the roots and everything down here. This is crazy. So I think what happened, like I said, is it got struck at the top, came through, and then it blew out the bottom. I wonder how long this happened, how long ago this happened, and then how long these bones have been here. That'd really suck if you were like a deer or something and you were standing here when that happened and then the... When it blew out, it, it killed you too. So anyway, we're gonna continue on and I'll check back in when we get down to the water and uh, we'll start exploring from there. So what you see behind me is water that's actually from the river. There's a place up ahead that it, it actually flows in and then it gets trapped back here and until it dries out it stays this really nasty, creepy swamp type look to it. Um, the river bank here is raised quite a bit so it traps a lot of water behind it. So 
It's actually an amazing little spot back here. There's a lot of big, big cypress trees, but a lot of different like levels of land and stuff. It's very interesting. There's almost like an island over there, an island right here, but I think this might actually kind of U-shape. There's a big dip right there. Now this could actually be coincidental. I 100% understand that. Or not. That's kind of interesting. I mean, yes, it could be pure coincidence they ended up like that, but it's also kind of interesting because normally you would just see the trees laying down in the same way, same position because the wind came through and knocked them all down. Yeah, so this looks like an area from the river that the water flows into and gets kind of trapped a little bit too. See, like, I would normally expect it to look like how these are. Like, these are both laid off. That one's laid the same way. That one's laid the same way. That one's laid the same way. That makes sense to me. When they end up in shapes like that, that's sort of weird. Just so you have an idea, too. I mean, this is a little one right here. And look how little... I mean, I can't. Yeah, there's no way. Even with two hands, I probably couldn't pick that thing up. Maybe I could pick that end up and drag it, but you would see drag marks. Those are just pushed over. <laughs> so even one this small probably weighs close to 200 pounds. I can tell you one thing, this is definitely where I would expect to find copper-headed rattle moccasins, cotton mouse, and alligators. Definitely mosquitoes, but I have the off spray on so I don't have to worry about the mosquitoes. But um, if you're wondering why I've been so quiet here for the past few minutes is because I've been actually watching the ground to make sure I'm not stepping on any kind of snakes. These here that you see sticking up all over the place, those are cypress knees. Cypress knees are basically the root system for the cypress tree. But they're sort of an anchor system. And also, if you think about it, if the water comes in and, and it fills up even to like here, this is still above the water so it can still breathe. Um, and you'll notice how they're all directed around certain trees. Now this one here is so old that these are actually getting like old and rotten. I mean they're hollow so you can kind of see what they look like inside. This one here, the whole entire thing. But basically, yeah, that, if you followed that down into the ground, that would go right into the root system of this tree. Um, you can kind of see, right here's a perfect example, how it comes out. And then it went into the ground here. So basically, all these other ones you're seeing, that part's underground. This ancient cypress behind me would have definitely been here during this whole skirmish between 
whoever it was that raided the Native Americans and the Native Americans, but there's, it's in all likelihood that the Native Americans would have seen this exact tree. The people that took over this area after would have seen this exact tree. This thing is ancient. So I know perspective on TV is a lot harder to understand. This opening is 510 5 511 because I'm six foot tall and it's just barely shorter than I am Look at that is that it's either sap or water that's running down out of there, too That is absolutely incredible Sometimes you take too long, someone else fills your spot. This random tree growing up right through one of the cypress roots. It almost looks like a drake elm. I'm pretty sure that's what that is, or some, some type of elm tree. I just heard the weirdest noises come from right over here. That literally sounded kind of like if you were to use your bike brakes and they were squeaky it sounded like that but there's absolutely no way someone's riding a bicycle through this when you're out here during the day you don't hear any of those weird tree knock noises like you do at night I don't hear any like stick breaking stuff creeping around watching me like I do at night. It's kind of crazy. I mean, literally all I hear is animals, birds chirping and squirrels and What's interesting, no idea what I just heard. What's interesting is this area is raised up and it's fairly level. It makes me wonder if some of the village wasn't here. Yes. Stupid Lincoln birds. This whole area is pretty level. And, and I notice right here it actually goes up and then goes up again. I think I'm going to head back back towards the uh, river and make my way a little bit further come around the other side of this. Now this is the Whistlecoochee River. All the stuff that I've been doing filming from is way down the river that way. We're further north on the river. Um, it's weird how this water, because of all this muck and stuff that goes to the bottom, it looks nasty, but it's actually pretty clear. I mean, that's a pretty good sized fish right there. Yeah, I mean, you can see how easily it is to see the sticks that are underwater and that stuff, but then you see all the 
tannins or detritus, whatever you want to call it, the leaf crap and the broken branches and all that kind of stuff. Basically, extremely good water for alligators to be able to be right there and you don't ever see them until they bite you. Which is why I am backing away slowly now. Now what's interesting is, you see this curve comes around and then the river's right here again and then it makes another one of those really weird loops. Now I'm not 100% sure why it got the name it did Three Bull Run. Some people said that it is the chief of the natives that were here, his name was Three Bull. Um, some said it's because the accident that happened and was caused by three bulls running across the bridge and crashing into the stagecoach that was going across. And other people say it's because of the way the river bends three times right here. I don't know which is true. It's a very interesting area though. I can tell you that when it was hiding down in there. Oh wow. I've seen black fuzzy. I don't think I've ever seen white fuzzies though. Like all the places we've been so far during the day, this place is gorgeous. Um, especially with all the birds chirping and everything. It is actually, it was super cloudy when I first came out here, but uh, the sun's starting to come out and it's looking a lot nicer around here. Um, I really honestly can't wait to see what happens at night. So right here would have been the embankment for the wooden bridge that went across in this area and um, where the disaster happened and the bridge is no longer. And once that bridge went away, this whole area kind of died out, but you can definitely see where people had built things and where the native village was where we first were, this is the other side of it. And there's same thing, there's places that come up a little bit and they're plateaued off where you could definitely build a house or a cabin and uh, that was, whoa, almost walked right into, I mean, he's a little guy, but big old spider web right in the way. I'm going to go back around this way. You also have to be careful when you're walking around out here because this here looks sturdy, but it's just a, a clumpy root mass. So you got to be careful where you step to because you could fall into one of those. But yeah, when you look through here, this whole area is leveled and it kind of makes like a little U shape and goes back that way. But it's very interesting. You can almost see where houses or cabins, whatever you want to call them, could have been. Still the embankment going through all the way through right there. And it goes all the way back in through the woods there. I just, it's so filled in now. I can't get through there. This is definitely going to be an awesome place to come um, next winter when all the green stuff is gone. And you can actually like walk through here a lot more. This is an interesting area for sure. And getting back in here feels a little more like I'm being watched even in the daytime than any of those other places that I was walking through. But... It, it feels a little more tense around here, I guess the word would be, which is weird. 
I don't hear as many birds chirping and stuff either. So this is the other side of where we were earlier. Um, that gigantic cypress is just through the woods right there. And there's a gigantic oak tree right here, which is usually, like I said, indicative of a homestead. There's another one right there. And a solid uh, sycamore tree right there. I think that's what that is. So a house or a cabin very well could have sat right here. All right, my friends, I just came up on a section here in the woods that 100% could be coincidence, but it just looks kind of odd to me. So I'm gonna just walk through, show you what I see here. You let me know what you think. I just like pointing this kind of stuff out to you. Um, like I said, it could be 100% natural, but it's just odd how only certain areas have trees that are crisscrossed. And like back there, there's two that are lined up on one. I don't know, that's just, it's strange to me. And they're very heavy, so I don't think one person, I'm not coming out here and doing it by myself, but um, it's just interesting. There's a little bit more here. I mean, this almost looks like it was built like a fence. That's interesting in itself to me just because I've walked through enough of the swamp area now to notice like yeah there's trees down here and there but that back there just seems like it was on purpose.
so I was walking around exploring a little bit and uh, I might have got myself lost because I saw the water back here and that's not the river. So I got to find my way back out of here. But uh, a lot of interesting stuff to look at back here. All right, I can't wait to get out here tonight and explore. I will see you when it gets dark. It is extra creepy out here tonight. It is midnight. We are getting ready to head back through here again through the woods back to Three Bull Run. See what we can catch tonight. As always, you guys let me know down in the comments if you see or hear anything I miss. And let's get into it. I really can't wait to get back here though. During the day was, I mean, it was gorgeous out here during the day, but it was definitely creepy feeling in some of the places. I'm really interested in where we found all those trees knocked over and stuff. Um, I, I'm still not sure what to think about those because some of it looks like, yes, it could have just been natural trees falling over, but some of it definitely looks like it was put there for a purpose. So. I can't wait to see what you all think. All right, we are here on the outskirts of what they call Three Bull Run. We're just gonna make our way back in here a little bit further. There's some weird noises over there. I'm not sure what exactly that was. For those who missed me saying it earlier, um, I do know that there was, like I said before, a wooden bridge that went over the river here and there was a tragedy on it where five to six people died and a couple horses. However, the details of it aren't really that specific or clear. Um, That part of it makes it a little bit haunted, I would think. It's what happened to the native village I, that is the stuff that scares me. Um, when you're talking about cursed native land that was treated the way it was by the people that raided them, like I, I don't know what to expect out here tonight. So we'll definitely have to keep our ears and eyes open. This place is extremely creepy though gigantic spiders on the trees out here so I make sure I have to I don't want to lean up against anything that thing's every bit the size of my palm of my hand yeah fun fun Somebody just say something? I thought I heard a hey. I don't know if that was 
sounded kind of like a knock in a way. I was just coming over because this is the spot where these four trees are put on top of each other. So one little interesting thing here, when I was down there, I all of a sudden got like really sick to my stomach, like I felt like I was going to throw up. As soon as I stepped up here, it went away. And I could have sworn I heard somebody say, hey. I have no idea what that was. I'm trying to be as quiet as possible because I swear I keep hearing really loud noises from back there. I'm just curious though. Is there somebody over here trying to get my attention? Hello. Holy crap. Hi. Yeah. Thank you for letting me know you're here. Am I in danger right here? Is that why you were making me feel sick to my stomach? What in the world? Goosebumps all down the left side of my body right now. Holy crap. <sighs> Thank you again for letting me know you're here. Um, <laughs> like I said to you guys, I felt sick to my stomach right here. And now I'm feeling freezing cold right here. Those K2 readings in the middle of a swamp, unexplainable, unexplainable. Um, just because we got those, I'm going to go ahead and run the ovulus and see what responses we get. Who is just standing here with me? My name is Jay.
It's like normal temperature again. You should dig here. I should dig here? Why should I dig here? What's here? He's here. He's here? Who's he? Are you talking about me as in he or is there someone else? <sighs> this is state forest so you can't dig in the state forest. Um, it's against the law and it's like big time, big time trouble. So uh, I won't be digging here but that is crazy to get that. Who is he? Ice cold. I swear I hear you. Can you tell me what's buried here? It's so weird. It feels like whatever was here walked right by me and is gone now because it, it is literally normal temperature here again. I'm reaching out. You're reaching out? I'm reaching out too. Can you knock the phone out of my hand? I won't mind. I won't be mad. It'll be awesome. Go ahead. Knock it out of my hand. Hi, Elizabeth. Do you think one of you could knock the phone out of my hand? Okay. I tried. It'd be really cool if you did. It'd be a lot cooler if you did man <laughs> name that movie man there's an ice cold breeze coming from this direction and I keep feeling like somebody's over in here looking at me I know that was an owl. Oh, 
Elizabeth, did you die in the bridge tragedy? Glenn. Hi, Glenn. Can one of you tell me, is this, is this natural or did something do this? What the heck was that? Kenneth. Kenneth? That was Kenneth that made that noise? Or did Kenneth do this? I was going to say, the interesting thing is, is that we're getting a lot of names out here. Um, and like I've told you guys in all the videos along the Withlacoochee River, there was hundreds of people that either mysteriously died in this river. Myself. You mysteriously died in this river? Um, and then there's people that were murdered and thrown in here groups of people that were murdered and thrown in here like whole camps of people like back then if if one little camp stole from someone and they caught them they would murder the entire camp and then they would dump the bodies in the river um pretty much every little ghost town that well every little town that's along the river or was along the river has become a ghost town um Especially in this area, there's nothing I'm left. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You don't have to be sorry. There's not much left of any of the houses. Are you no, should I be? I wouldn't be out here if I was afraid. Do you want me to be? Um, it keeps interrupting me and I keep losing my train of thought. Basically, all the little towns that used to be along this river from the 1840s on have all gone away. Uh, there are some people that still live on the river, but uh, none of the towns are here anymore. And a lot of the towns that were around on the river, I mean... Other than telling that there's leveled land and stuff, there's not much even left of those, so. A little mouse just scared the crap out of me. Going to town on the, the branch right there. Scarlet. Hi, Scarlet. I wanted to go to this ancient uh, cypress.
to do the necrophonic. Do you know how old this tree is? Was this tree here back when you were here? Did you say it's not safe? Right? What am I in danger of? Something right there? What, what was it that you wanted me to dig up? Are your bodies still here? Do you know how many natives were killed during the raid? 55. That's sad. That is very sad. Is there something that is... Is there something here protecting the land? I heard this area was cursed. He's behind me? Yep. What's his name? Glenn? Yes? What is Glenn? That I'm not mocking you. Will you show yourself to me? Yes. Right. You worry I'll tell them? I won't tell anyone anything unless you want me to.
Am I in danger being out here? Yes? Ooh, ice cold coming from right there. Can you tell me what happened to you? You were shot? It hurt? I hurt? You need, you said you need help. What can I do to help you? I'll pray for your soul. That was creepy. Well, good night. Someone's watching me? Goodbye. I can't wait to listen to that back. We had some really good responses, I feel like. Um, oh. Ducking all the spider webs. There's a little knock noise over there. I don't know what that is. I didn't hear any of that during the day when I was out here. It is ice cold around me right now, too. Holy smokes. Oh, who's following me around, man? That is, like, not cool. I asked you not to follow me, okay? Is that Glenn? I told you it was ice cold around me. Is that Glenn that's following me? Or Anna? Got, got so many names. It is ice cold. Literally have goosebumps underneath goosebumps. <laughs> okay, well, I'm leaving. Please stay here. I don't want any trouble. Wow. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. Um, you can see I have jeans on and through the hole right here, you can see I have pants on underneath of my, and I have literally have goosebumps all through my clothes right now. To get those K2 readings and then that loud knock that just happened Oh, man. There's one last place I want to stop before we go. Holy smokes, that thing is gigantic. That is a freaking spider. I don't even want to put my hand near that thing to show you how big it is. Holy crap. K2 meter. K2 meter next to that thing. Look at that. 
Holy hell. I heard something moving down here next to my foot too. I don't know. This is like a great place for snakes to hide for the night. <laughs> that damn spider is huge. So this is definitely one of those. I don't know if that picked up on camera or not, but I kicked something down there and like a little piece of stick flew up and it like came up like this high and then went back down right in front of me. But what I was going to say is this is the type of place that is just so interesting. I've, I've been out here for so long already and it feels like I've only been here for a couple of minutes. I've literally been here for two hours and 15 minutes now. All right, my friends, I wanted to make a quick stop here. This is the area that has just a whole bunch of trees down, but it just, I don't know. It, it looks weird the way they're all laid on top of each other. And I think that's an owl. It, it just strikes me as odd. I mean, it could 100% be natural, but you don't see it. I haven't seen it in anywhere else that I've really been exploring. Like, I'll see a couple of trees down, but they're all facing the same way kind of stuff. This, I mean, you can even see when you look through here. It's like a zigzag pattern. Over here, there's like an A pattern again. So, I, I don't know. I leave it up to you guys to make your own conclusions about what you think. But I wanted to hang out here for a little bit and see what uh, I mean to even do one better you can't tell me there's nowhere right here where this tree came from where'd that tree come from where'd that tree come from They didn't just fall over right here in place. I mean, where did that tree? Where was, where's the stump for that tree? You know, that's the part that's a little bit strange to me. And then you have an A right here. You have an A right there. I mean, even this one, there's not really any stump of any kind anywhere. Not like this.
And that's another one. There's no tree stump there. There's a tree growing right there. What the hell? I think those are coyotes, but I don't know. But if this was even rotten right there, you'd still see a rotten um, tree trunk. And there's no rotten tree trunk yet. It's pushed in there. And it's not like it didn't fall through that tree to get there. I don't know. Some weird stuff. Alright my friends, I'm going to try to do some tree knocks, we're going to see what we get. Just heard one over there. What is that? All right, that was pretty crazy. Um, I don't know, I don't think it was an echo of me hitting. I mean, there's nothing really for it to echo off of. So that was really interesting to do that. Um, thank you for suggesting that. I didn't think I'd get anything in. Damn, there's some weird noises. I didn't think I'd get anything in return, but uh, definitely I think I heard two, maybe three. But uh, we're going to make our way out of here. I'll check back in when we get to the car unless anything crazy happens. Hello? What the hell is that? What the heck am I hearing over here? <laughs> it's all around me, it's over there too.
Comment down below if you know what's making that noise. Because I do not see anything anywhere. Yet I'm hearing it over here, over there, and across over this way. And I can't figure out for the life of me what it is. I don't know. It is creepy as shit. All right, I am back at the car, safe and sound. There was a very strange little section there. I hope my camera picked up those weird noises. I have yet to hear those kind of noises before. I have no idea what it was. Um, Maybe you guys do, so make sure you put down in the comments if you do know what those weird noises were. Um, all in all, this was an amazing day of exploring. Uh, like I said, it's amazing how much this flashlight actually helps out because I only used one battery and I filmed for almost three hours. So um, the, the flashlight definitely helped. If you want to get your own, this is the Olight Mini Marauder. There will be a link in the description so you can get your own. Um, as well as you can use the promo code TJTD10 to get 10% uh, off anything that's not already discounted. Or the X9R, which is the very high-end one that they have. Um, all in all, though, this was a great explorer. I can't wait to see what we picked up tonight. Can't wait to see what you guys catch. All right, my friends, don't forget to smash that thumbs up. It helps the journey more than you'll ever know. Smash that thumbs up. Let YouTube know that you enjoy real, honest content. And if you're new to the channel or just haven't yet, don't forget to subscribe, tap that bell, and turn on all notifications so you have a hope of getting some notifications. YouTube really doesn't like sending them out. So, um, Also, if you want to get one of the Journey is a Destination Portal Cave editions, I also have... The Demon Dilla shirt on. This is the original Demon Dilla shirt. We also have a 2.0. Check out the Journey is the Destination dot shop for all your Journey merch. A whole bunch of stuff in there. All right, that's gonna do it for me though. We will see you on the next explore, my friends. Much love. <laughs>